Hello guys, welcome back to Kentucky Home Garage. Um, first of all, I want to thank you, every, every, each one of you, for a great review and the comments on the last video I've done on that Honda um, uh, Sienna that we did a uh, bypass test on ABS uh, module with a uh, uh, picoscope. It worked great. I had uh, tons of reviews and comments and uh, you guys, uh, as I am, very excited to see if this is going to work on any other cars. So uh, right now I'm uh, uh, working on my uh, Chevy. It's a 2004 Chevy Suburban and uh, I got everything ready so let's see if we can do it. I got my, uh, I, I got no problem on this ABS uh, but uh, we'll just do the by bypass test uh, and see if it's going to work as well as it did work on the Honda. So uh, I got my uh, front right, uh, front left wheel uh, speed sensor, ABS sensor unplugged. You can see here, and I got my uh, I plug it in into my into my um, um, leads, and uh, use my uh, use my picoscope, and uh, we are reading uh, 3.3 volts. Okay, so here's my uh, I got scan tool ready. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, plug in the uh, waveform generator and see if we can uh, repeat the test. All right, put the camera on the tripod. We got our waveform back on the on the screen, and uh, let's check our uh, scan tool. And uh, so we are reading uh, 29 miles an hour. So it works on uh, this model as well. It's a VRS uh, uh, sensor, makes its own voltage, so makes its AC sound wave. So. Um, uh, I think uh, this is about 200 hertz, 100 hertz, uh, 90, 70. So now I'm at uh, six six miles an hour, and uh, let's uh, jump it up a little bit. Uh, six hertz at a. Uh, 59 miles an hour, so everything is working the same as what worked on Honda. Uh, no problems at all. So now, if you you know if you have this if you have a problem with uh, your um, ABS system, you would do this test on a good side first, and then go to your uh, to your side that you have a problem with. And uh, sorry about the glare. And uh, that's uh, and of course you're going to do this on the. Um, you know, on the first side first, and on the good side first, and then do your test on the bad side to see if your ABS module responds to it. So uh, now, the cool thing about the uh, this picoscope, you can actually you can actually customize your uh, waveform. So uh, let's just uh, let's just have a little fun here, and uh, actually I already already made this, so you can uh, actually you know choose what what type of uh, signal you want and then you can uh, use the uh, you can go to drawing mode and you can actually uh, you know do all kinds of stuff with it change it you know customize your waveform so I just made this glitch on uh, on my signal so let's apply that to, uh, to our waveform and see uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna decrease my frequency here a little bit and <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Okay, now let's see the signal on our uh, skin tool. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, you know, this is what this is what the bad sensor would do to your ABS system. So, uh, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty nice. So uh, I'm gonna decrease the 
thickens a little bit more uh, now look at that I mean it's uh, that's pretty neat so um, yeah I'm having fun I'm having fun big time with this thing <laughs> so okay so that's the so now uh, let's just go back to regular sound wave and uh, Now at, at 20 hertz, it reads a zero miles an hour. So you have to increase the uh, frequency a little bit. Let's see, there we go. It's so like 80, and it's now not even six miles an hour again. So, all right, so this works for sure. Uh, no problem so far. It's been working flawlessly on two models and VRS signals, and VRS sensors. Um, I will, uh, Okay, uh, I will do some more testing and some more research. See, I mean, I'm just kind of playing right now, as you can guys, you can see as I'm changing my frequency, you know, the uh, my uh, my uh, speed is uh, changing as well. So um, now I'm gonna try to do other you know, other systems to test other systems. I am uh, trying to uh, I'm trying to find a car that has a whole effect ABS. Uh, sensor that makes the uh, square wave uh, signal so I'm not sure how it's going to work uh, how well it's going to work on that but on the AC sound it was great so now on, uh, uh, I'm going to try to do also cam and crank on VRS and uh, with this uh, uh, system I can actually customize my signal and I can make a notch a sync notch on my uh, on my uh, signal and uh, save it on my picoscope and then uh, you know induce that signal into the uh, VRS harness and see what what respond the PCM is gonna have is gonna read their RPM or you know I don't know I'm, I'm just uh, I'm just uh, researching now at this point to see if uh, if it can uh, be used on other stuff I'm thinking also Dimitri also uh, uh, suggested uh, using it on uh, uh, oxygen sensors so I will definitely try to see if I can uh, uh, you know the bypass test on the uh, oxygen sensor signal wire and basically uh, you know put the sound wave from a zero to one volt to our uh, signal on O2 sensor and see if uh, computer is gonna pick up that signal so uh, so far was great I mean I think this is legit it really it's it's a, it's a good test uh, so uh, okay uh, again, appreciate you guys so much for uh, comments and inputs, and, and uh, uh, please uh, uh, share this this video with other people because I think it's 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 really a unique way of, of uh, testing the ABS uh, uh, signals, uh, and I think many people can benefit from it. So, uh, okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for uh, watching other my videos, and uh, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.